Hello 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 everyone. Today, guys, I'm going to explain the types of resolutions that exist on the screens, the abbreviations we use when talking about them and, a little bit, the differences that may exist between each of them. First of all, before we start, I want to explain what resolution is, so that we can start knowing what we are talking about. Screen resolution is the total number of pixels that can be displayed on any screen, be it a computer monitor, a television, a cell phone, whatever. To refer to resolutions, we normally use two numbers, for example, 1920 by 1080 which indicate the amount of pixels that are displayed on the screen. The first number tells you the number of horizontal pixels displayed on a screen and the second number tells you the number of vertical pixels. To refer to specific resolutions, such 1920 by 1080, we usually shorten by mentioning only the vertical pixels. Thus, when you hear or read about 1080p screen somewhere, you will know that they refer to resolutions of 1920 by 1080 pixels, a resolution that is also known as Full HD or FHD. Having seen this, let's go to see the different types of screen resolution we have today, from smallest to largest, so that you are clear about everything when purchasing a new device. We start with standard definition, which you will see abbreviated as SD. This resolution reaches a maximum of 640 by 480 pixels, so you can also see it as 480p. It is one of the first low-resolution standards, it can also be known as VGA, although the abbreviation SD is much more widely used nowadays. We continue with the quarter of high definition, which you may see abbreviated as QHD. This resolution reaches a maximum of 960 by 540 pixels, so you can also see it as 540p. Nowadays it is hardly used and is quite out of use. It has been used for some low-end devices at some point, but nowadays we will hardly see it anymore. We continue with high definition, which you will see abbreviated as HD. This resolution reaches a maximum of 1280 by 720 pixels, so you can also see it as 720p, which surely sounds a little more familiar. It's the first standard that was defined for high resolution, it's not quite full high definition but it's like a very widely used stepping stone. It is really like the first resolution considered HD. Today there are still devices, especially cell phones or tablets, which still have this resolution on their screens. In televisions it is more complicated to see it. We come to one of the best known, the full high definition, which you can see abbreviated as FHD or also commonly called Full HD. This resolution reaches a maximum of 1920 by 1080 pixels, so you can also see it as 1080p, which you have surely already seen more easily. It is currently one of the most widely used standards, and we do see it, apart from mobiles and tablets, in some models of lower mid-range television. Now we enter a technology that has been a bit of a transition, the quad high definition, or much better known as 2K. This resolution reaches a maximum of 2560 by 1440 pixels, so you can also see it as 1440p. In the case of televisions, they practically jumped from Full HD to 4K, without going through this resolution, which has remained for some smartphones or tablets that want to go a little beyond Full HD, but above all, where we can see it today is in computer monitors. The penultimate step we have in the resolution currently most used in televisions, the ultra-high definition, which you can see abbreviated as UHD or much better known as 4K. This resolution reaches a maximum of 3840 by 2160 pixels, so you can also see it as 2160p. It is a high-definition standard far superior to Full HD and is gradually beginning to become the norm in middle and high-end televisions. And we finish the summary with the highest resolution technology, also called for now as UHD, but in this case UHD 8K. This resolution reaches a maximum of 7680 by 4320 pixels, so you can also see it as 4320p. This resolution is beginning to be seen more and more in premium TVs and aspires in the future to be the successor to the 4K. Well guys, this is as far as the video goes. As always, I hope I have helped you. If so, don't forget to leave me a nice like, which is super important, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything. I for my part, nothing more, a pleasure and until the next video.